What if you were given the chance to ride along with a world champion race car driver? That's exactly what happened when Pro Drift and rally racer Tanner Faust threw down the gauntlet on the PlayStation blog to find the fastest Gran Turismo 5 prologue racer in the U.S. Thousands of players posted their best lap online, competing for the quickest time around the London City track behind the wheel of a Nissan 350Z, the same car that Tanner drifts in the Formula D circuit. The competition was tight, but one player pulled ahead of the pack. Gregory Russell's time of 1 minute 0 0.711 seconds earned him the grand prize. Fastest time in a certain time period. All right, we're going to have some fun. All right, thanks. He and a guest, his sister, were flown from his home state of Maryland to the port of Long Beach just outside of Los Angeles to attend the Formula Drift Red Bull Drifting World Championship. With VIP tickets in hand, Gregory got full access to meet Tanner, check out the cars, and watch the drifting from the front row. And a once-in-a-lifetime ride along with the 2008 U.S. Formula Drift Champion for two hot laps at full speed during the open practice. So, at the appointed time, Gregory, top Gran Turismo player, rode shotgun with Tanner Faust, world champion drift driver. <laughs> We're hitting about 102 miles an hour before pulling the handbrake. You saw me pull the handbrake? Yeah. And then that kicked us sideways. And there, from there, it's almost like we're just floating. That's so awesome. I can't wait to do it again. Gran Turismo fans and wannabe racers duked it out in Gran Turismo 5 Prologue all day aboard the PlayStation Experience truck, where the best of the best earned the chance to go head-to-head -head virtually with Tanner Faust himself. Once that was over, it was time for the marquee matchup. Gregory got his chance to show the Rockstar Pro some of his own driving skills. But Tanner proved to be just as formidable an opponent on the virtual track as on the real pavement. The next day is when the real competition started, and Greg got to watch the action from the VIP section. That was awesome. 32 of the world's best drift racers went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the docks of Long Beach to prove who the best drift racer in the world really is. When the screams of the tires faded and all the smoke had cleared, Tanner Faust had claimed third place. With this taste of racing up close, Greg had an experience he would never forget. So by being one of the best at Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, Gregory got to experience the ride of his life. Stay tuned to the official Gran Turismo website for the latest Gran Turismo news and contest information. Well, Sony PlayStation, they're a great partner uh, of Toyota. We worked with them for many years in the past. And Gran Turismo 5 is, of course, one of the premier uh, driving simulators out there. So we were sitting around and decided what we wanted to do is do a test between virtual driving and real driving. And that's why we're bringing on out. Uh, the other part from the Toyota perspective is to expand on the concept of fun to drive. Uh, there is a popular misconception that fun to drive requires a big horsepower, a big engine, big car, big wings, big spoilers, and big insurance. So we decided to bring actually our most reasonably priced car out here, the Twitty Yaris. And our goal was to take a bunch of journalists, perhaps the most cynical people on the planet, and to have them drive this car to experience it firsthand. And I want them to take away the fact that the Yaris is the most fun car they've ever driven.
it's a pretty big challenge, but I think we're up to it. You would really be surprised to learn. I talk to a lot of our athletes, our, our professional drivers, and they actually use the games as a training tool. Uh, in Gran Turismo 5, for instance, there is the racing line that you can turn on. And as you just went through the class, you learned all about the racing line. But there's no better way to learn about it than actually experiencing it. With Gran Turismo 5, it is amazing how accurate their, their dynamic simulators are. Uh, the car driving experience is very close to reality. And I think you'll experience that today when you take the cars out. And then back-to-back -back comparison with the same spec Yaris in the game. It's going to be an amazing experience. I think at the end of the day, uh, you always have a reset button in the game. You certainly don't have one in, in the reality. Uh, the other aspect is the G-forces that you'll experience. It's You're, you're going in a, in, a, in a race car, you're strapped into the car, and you're experiencing lateral and forward Gs. That's going to be difficult to uh, replicate in a game. The Gran Turismo team is fantastic. They're great to work with. They work directly with the car engineers to make sure the dynamics represent an accurate uh, vehicle from Toyota. Uh, the other thing they do, it's, it's amazing if you've ever seen them replicate the car virtually. It's uh, the number of polygons that go into creating a car these days. I would say, uh, and you can talk to the Gran Turismo folks, but it probably exceeds the uh, number of cars for the whole game for just one car uh, in the old Gran Turismo, the original version, if that made any sense whatsoever. <laughs> it's just, the, the, it's gone actually to a level of artistry and to a level of, of in sheer beauty, frankly, of looking at the cars. And in many cases, I just like to watch the cars drive around the track. Thank goodness for the B-Spec <laughs> aspect. <laughs>we're taking a little bit of the virtual and uh, throwing in some of the actual so you guys got a chance to take out some of the Toyota vehicles on the track and we have a group of people inside so we're rotating the groups basically half of them are on track half of them are testing uh, the Yaris that we have back here in the Gran Turismo and you will actually see that you do get better racing in the real world by practicing uh, in the game but at the same time, you will get better at playing the game because you're racing in the real world. We are a global game, and we are trying to represent all forms of motorsports uh, worldwide. So we have WRC for Europe, we have like JGTC, the Super GT Series for Japan, and we couldn't ignore like such a big, big American heritage uh, racing series like NASCAR. You know, I think sometimes it falls down to philosophy. The, I don't want to say the automotive culture in the U.S. is dropping, but there really is a bigger automotive heritage uh, in Europe. There's a lot of, you know, GT racing, like the British uh, Touring Car Series, the DTM Series in Germany, uh, F1, you know, multiple stops across Europe. It's just a little more ingrained in terms of road racing. Well, so far we have released a couple of patches here and there, and you know we're going to continue supporting GT5 in that sense. But as far as what's to come, I think we're going to let everyone kind of sink their teeth into GT5 first. You know, right now we have a really cool series called the uh, GT Academy. It's kind of like what we're doing here today, but on a national level, where a lot of people can do time trials online and they get ranked. And according to that, we are picking a few to move on to the next level, next level, and so forth, until we get a small group that we're going to train. And out of that, we're going to pick a driver that we want to turn into an actual driver. I was talking to Paul, some guys from Toyota, that a lot of guys in the office, we play online. We go, you know, we set up a time, set up a room, and we race like these small horsepower cars on small tracks because. Um, that's how you really know who is a good driver. You know, if you take a turn completely, completely bad, if you have enough horsepower, you can kind of pull through it. But if you're on a, on a small car, small horsepower car, you really have to, you know, if you, if you take that, if you enter it too hot or, and come out too slow, you feel it. You see that car pulling away from you, and there's nothing in the world you can do to pull up faster. You know, you will kick and scream and curse your mother out, but you will never get there. Oh,